Import transitions using Restore Project Archive. If you see a preview with the text media offline, you need to link the project files. Select the files in each folder and use Relink selected clips to connect the files. Activate dynamic project switching. Open the project in read-only mode. Copy the slide projector transitions folder. Now you can immediately go to the timeline with video editing using the drop-down list. Paste. Transfer TR transitions to the timeline. Decompose. Delete the preview layer. Move between footages. Done. Transfer slide P transitions to the timeline. Decompose. Delete the preview layer. Move the transition so that the first or second white marker is between the two footages. Cut footage under another white marker. Between the two white markers, I recommend using a freeze frame. Create a freeze frame. Done. These transitions work correctly from 25 FPS timelines in drag and drop mode. To use a transition with a different frame rate, you need to create a duplicate transition. Transfer the duplicate slide P to the timeline. Cut the footages along the edge of the transition. Select and copy footage. Open the transition. Delete the preview layer. Move the transition layer to the top. Enable video track 1. Stretch the video track to see the markers. Paste. Move the footage as shown. Return to the timeline. Done.